I cannot prescribe a drug for patients ethically knowing that information about that drug is being withheld and that the best I have is a summary by somebody who I trust to be clueful and well motivated, but, but I cannot expect regulators to be perfect. The problems with Vioxx, rosiglitazone, Avandia, problems with the evidence base for Tamiflu, these weren't spotted primarily by regulators, they were spotted by independent researchers and doctors. But you'll get it, all of this under this commitment. Okay, going forward, for new products, you will get protocol statistical plans. You're a researcher, but you'll certainly qualify. You know, you'll get these under these commitments. There's just one sort of very, very small thing to, to you that I would really love to hear, um, which is you, you, you speak as if you recognise the value of this data from 2010, 2005, 2000 and so on, but you say you cannot ask industry or force industry to hand it over. Of course you can't. But you're in a position of leadership in your industry. Could you at least say that you think it is best practice and that people should share this information? No, I, what I can say is this, that I'm sure that my companies will give you data on these products where there is a debate, and they're already doing it. I know they're doing it without being forced to do it. Okay, forced, you have to st stir up a certain debate, but at the end of the day, you get it. And with this principle, it's going to be much easier because you're going to have a process for it. And everyone has become comfortable, but it's taken us six months to become comfortable with putting out all this information, both proactively with synopsis and on request. You know? So now people are comfortable. So I think the reception you'll get from the industry after January 1st next year, all of all products will be different from what you've seen in the past.